Hello again and welcome to another edition of Sudson Country. Hi, I'm Herb Sudson and welcome to the show, my friends. Today we're in Mercer County, New Jersey at the Howell Living History Farm. There's a lot of activity going on. It's called the Celebration of Wheat. And Pete is here. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Glad to be here. You're the director of the farm and you're going to tell us what we can expect to see on the show as far as the Celebration of Wheat is concerned. We're going to have a great time today with all our visitors. We've invited them to go through six different stations where our farmers are planting wheat processing it into animal feed and flour for use in the kitchen. If everyone goes to all six stations, they get their program punched, and at the end they get their share of the harvest, a bag of fresh ground wheat flour to take home, along with a recipe. They can do the bacon at home. Okay. Sounds like a lot of activity going on. Well, Pete, we're the, this is where it all begins. Yes, it is. We're planting wheat right here. We're using a team of horses and a grain drill, and we're planting wheat the way they did a century ago. We're asking the public to help us do it by hand sowing a little bit of wheat. Okay. And we're showing them that in the stem of wheat, there's wheat grain. They thresh it out by hand, just like this. And they got those wheat grains. And what we ask them to do is throw it out there as though they were hand broadcasting the wheat. And every grain will grow by... Everyone will. We're going to have... Next year's bread. Yes, sir. We'll have wheat growing up here in a couple of weeks. It'll lay dormant throughout the winter. The root system is established. Come spring, it'll take off quickly because the roots are there, and by mid-July, it'll be ready to harvest using a reaper binder. Sounds like a plan. We got a plan. Year after year. Year after year. Pete, that piece of equipment behind us is quite old, and but quite useful. Yes, it's a McCormick reaper binder, and we use it here in July to harvest the wheat that we just planted down below. Okay. What, how does that go? That cuts, cuts it off at the ground? It has a sickle bar mower in the front, and it runs off of what you call a bull wheel, which is power right. provided by the horses who pull it, um, and that gets transferred into the machine so that it can cut the wheat and then take it up an elevator, put it into an area where a string is tied around it, um, and it makes it into a bundle called a sheaf. Okay. And when there's six or seven sheaves on the bundle carrier, the farmer trips it, they fall on the ground, and then the farmers follow behind the reaper, pick up those sheaves, stand them up, and form what's called a shock. And that lets the top of the wheat dry out a little bit more before either you thresh it or put it into a big stack for later threshing. Now, if you were going to make it into a stack, there was another step called bringing in the sheaves, mm. and that happened a couple of weeks after it was standing in its shock. You'd go out with wagons pulled by horses, and you'd load them onto the wagon, and you would bring the sheaves in to the area where you were going to storm. Quite an operation. Good operation. Well, Pete, we're at workstation three. What's behind me and what's going on here at Howell? Herb, we're thrashing here at this station. We're taking the wheat that we pulled off of the fields back in July. It's in a stack right behind us. And we're using a thresher, an Ellis Keystone Champion, belted to our farm all H. Sometimes we use a steam traction engine. And we're feeding those sheaves into the thrasher to get out the wheat grain on the other side. What did you do with the chaff when it comes out? Straw? Well, there's some separators in there. The chaff and some of the straw comes out on one side. Most of the, the straw is being blown up into the mow of the barn, and we use that for bedding for the animals. Nothing gets wasted. Nothing gets wasted. The whole stem of wheat gets used one way or another. Uh, how old is that thrashing machine? That thrasher is about 110 years old. Runs real good, as good as the day it was bought there first. There you go. Very yeah. good, Pete. Thanks. You bet. Well, Pete, we're at the feed grinding station. Tell us all about feed grinding, what you have in your hand, and how it goes about getting into that grinder, and what happens. Well, we got some cups full of wheat that just came out of the thresher, where we were, and we're putting it into a grinder hand cranking it and making pig and chicken feed. Okay. We got lots of help today. All of our youngsters are turning the cranks and they're finding out what the chores would be like when they got home from school. Well, throw that in. Let's see what comes out on the bottom end. Here we go. Okay. All right, there it goes. Cup number two. There it is, right from the thrasher, now, ready to go. Let's get somebody to crank it up. Who's gonna crank it up here? Yeah, crank it up, come on. Go ahead. Come on, farmers. Oh, let's, let's. Our pigs are hungry. Now put this under there and catch it. Put it under. 
Hey, you're doing a great job. You're not getting tired, are you? Well, Pete, we're at the next workstation here, and it has to do with household wheat, I believe. Right, Herb. We're at our winnower, and we're having our helpers turn the crank of this old winnower, and they're getting rid of the chaff and the stems that we want removed from the wheat before we put it through a grinder to make it into wheat flour for bread. Okay. Now, if you look at this stuff, you'll see that it came out of the thresher like this. That'd be fine to grind up for animal feed. But before you use this for household use, you want to get rid of all this material, and that's what the winnower does. And it does it crush it? No, it doesn't. It drops it through a wind tunnel, blows away all the debris, and the heavier wheat grain falls down through the bottom into a box. How much, how much household wheat will you get out of a bucket like this? Oh, uh, I guess we'll get about 50 loaves of bread. Well, Pete, we're wrapping up this celebration of wheat at the Howell Living History Farm in Mercer County, New Jersey. You're a heck of a tour guide, my friend. Thank you very much. It was our pleasure. Tell us what station we're at and what's going on here as we wrap it up. Well, we've uh, gotten our workstations all done, and we're handing out bags of wheat, which are the shares of the harvest that we award to everyone who's helped us. And I think we have a young farmer over here who's just completed his last station. Farmer Don, can we see your program and make sure that you, you actually went to all six areas? Yep. Yes, sir, you did. And we'd like to award you with a bag of wheat. Thank you. Your share of the harvest. Okay. You're going to go home and bake some bread? Yeah. All right. Think so. Have fun. Enjoy it. Okay. okay. What, show us how this is done. We're grinding wheat here to make bread. And the flour that comes out of here is food grade, ready to go. It makes whole wheat bread, just like what we have right here. Okay. That's the finished product. And this is just about it, just before it. As fresh as it gets. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the help. Website, before we wrap it up. Website, www.halfarm.com. And you can, on that website, everybody can find out what's going on here year-round? Year-round. We start in January with ice harvesting and maple sugaring, and we invite you to participate in each and every operation on the farm. And seven days a week? Six days a week. Six days a week. Yes, All right. Sir. One day we rest. Yes, we do. All right. Thanks again, Pete. Appreciate it.